It was on the thirtieth of December, twenty twenty one, when the man of God was in a prayer mountain, where he revealed the mind of God concerning the year twenty twenty two through a series of revelations. Amongst the many revelations he received from God concerning the year twenty twenty two, he revealed that he saw water and lives being taken. Prepare yourself to listen to the exact prophecy. These were his words. Yes, I saw water, lot of water. I saw lot of water sweeping away houses. Father, I pray for your hand of protection. Father, I pray for your hand of protection. Is it an unavoidable or avoidable event? Is this a dam, a natural disaster, or an ocean? Let me put it that way. But I saw life being taken, houses being taken by a lot of people. What you are about to watch is a confirmation. Of what the Lord had revealed to His prophet, this happened in the following countries: Tonga, Mozambique, and Malawi, within two weeks after the prophecy had been heard. On Saturday, the fifteenth of January, an underwater volcano erupted off the islands of Tonga. It caused an enormous tsunami. With waves that travelled as far as New Zealand, Australia, Japan, Peru, and the U.S., pressure changes in the atmosphere were still being detected in the U.K. More than ten thousand miles away, fifteen hours later. Here's what happened. Tonga is an archipelago of around a hundred and seventy small islands, two thousand miles east of Australia. Its capital, Nukualofa, is on the biggest island, Tonga Tapu, to the south. The country has just over 104,000 residents.、Oh. The volcano, known as the Hunga Tonga Hunga Harpai, is located 40 miles north of the capital. Tonga is in the Ring of Fire, an arc in the Pacific Rim, where up to a thousand volcanoes are located. It's not unusual for volcanoes to erupt in the sea. In fact, three quarters of volcanic activity is underwater. Ah, yes, I caught it. But the boat was lost. The Hunga Tonga Hunga Harpai volcano has erupted before, in 2009 and 2014. But the speed at which magma was forced out of it this time has made it one of the biggest eruptions the world has seen in nearly 30 years. The eruption sent a volcanic mushroom plume into the stratosphere. These satellite images show the site before and after, where almost all of the volcano and the land around it has disappeared. The eruption created tsunami waves up to 15 meters high that spread across the Pacific Ocean. The waves were still being felt two days later in Australia. Oh, holy sh! The huge explosion was heard across the Pacific from Fiji to Alaska, over six thousand miles away. It also sent a huge atmospheric shock wave around the world. Pressure changes were even measured in Europe fifteen hours later. And now thirty people have been confirmed dead, while tens of thousands have been left homeless following the devastation caused by Tropical Storm Anna earlier this week. It formed over Madagascar, wreaking havoc before making its way across the Mozambique Channel onto Mozambique land and Malawi, where it downed power lines earlier this week. Now let's speak to a weather expert from the University of Pretoria, Professor Liesl Dyson, just to talk about this、uh, weather phenomenon. After all, we are in the beginning of the tropical cyclone season in Southern Africa. Hence, that first one that has caused so much damage is named after 
the first alphabet, letter of the alphabet, Anna. Prof, good afternoon. Thank you very much uh, for your time. I mean, there was a lot of devastation. We were saved from it here in South Africa, yeah, unlike the, uh, a few years ago when uh, Cyclone Idai came all the way uh, from uh, Mozambique and smashing Beira, the second largest city, and brought lots of rain to eastern parts of, southern, of South Africa. This time around, we're largely spared. Just from your information, how bad was this? So the um, the storm actually developed over the the Indian Ocean and then weakened as it moved over Madagascar and then it started to redevelop again as it moved in over the um, over the Mozambique Channel where the sea surface temperatures are very warm. So that's the reason that it redeveloped there and then it um, it moved into the the continent north of Baira, luckily. So Baira got spared this time around, but there was quite a lot of devastation in places in Mozambique. Some bridges washed away, um, some recently repaired bridges washed away, and then also into, into Malawi. At the moment, the system is quite weak. Um, it's weakened considerably. Um, it's definitely not a tropical cyclone anymore. It's just a tropical depression. Um, it's a very large system. Um, it's situated at the moment maybe somewhere over over central Zimbabwe. Um, but even over South Africa in Limpopo, you can see some of the higher cloud associated with this, this weather system. We're not expecting any severe severe weather over South Africa because of Anna. So that at least is fine. But it's been a it's been a it's it, it even though it wasn't a very severe storm, it did cause quite quite a lot of devastation in the countries to our to our north. Yeah, I mean, I've been, I've been receiving video clips uh, uh, from media people in Mozambique and showing the kind of uh, weather damage, and as you said, bridges and roads and everybody being affected and thousands of people uh, moving. I mean, uh, this is named uh, Tropical Storm Anna, which means there could be more coming. Uh, could we see worse still to come, or is that not uh, easy to forecast? It's not so easy to forecast yet too far ahead. Um, Anna is the first storm, as you mentioned yourself, but what is a bit interesting is that it's quite late in the season for um, Anna to, for the first tropical cyclone in the Indian Ocean to occur. So that's that's quite significant or interesting that it's only the first storm that has developed now. There's already another storm, and the, although it's not quite a tropical cyclone yet, the name is... Matsarai over the Indian Ocean, and this is expected to influence um, Mauritius and Reunion by the weekend. Some of the projections show that this storm may also move into the um, Mozambique Channel, but it's still very uncertain. That will only be by the end of next week, and it's very uncertain exactly what the, the path of the storm will be. But this time of the year, I know people hate it when meteorologists say this, but this time of the year is tropical cyclone season. So yeah. we, um, well, even so, though there's so, a lot of devastation. Yeah, well, some of us in the media have had to learn that. It's a tropical cyclone season now, a tropical storm season between now, March or April. And the fact that uh, the, this first major one has started so late, as you said, could indicate that maybe, maybe the cyclone season this time might last beyond March. Yes. I saw water, lot of water. I saw lot of water sweeping away houses. Father, I pray for your hand of protection. Father, I pray for your hand of protection. Is it an un avoidable or avoidable event is this a dam a natural disaster or an ocean let me put it that way but i saw life being taken houses being taken by love of the world. what could this mean is the prophecy complete or is the motto come as young as the year 2022 is, some of the prophecies are already unraveling. What more as the year unfolds? As Apostle Samuel Rabateng normally says, some prophecies can be averted. Let us join hands.
and pray for the world at large. For mercy, we are one another's strength. Therefore, when we are joined together, we are strong and our plea is loud. Let this be a prayer point as we worship the Lord in spirit and in truth. Celestial is divine for salvation of souls. Keep watching Seraphim TV.